Today we're going to be making a short section of gun barrel using the scalp, what I'm calling the scalp method, where you take a flat piece of bar, you curl into a C-shape and butt weld the ends together. Now this is six inches of quarter inch by two inch flat stock. That's uh, 150 millimeter by six millimeter by 50 millimeter. And I've seen this done with a mandrel and without a mandrel. I'm going to try it without a mandrel. And if that doesn't work, we'll repeat this using a mandrel. Okay, I'm gonna take our straight peen. We're gonna start here in the middle. We're gonna start curling this around. Yeah, because I've been too lazy to buy a, make a sweat block stand. I just got this clamped in my vise. And we want to try and keep this as free a scale as we can. There we go, got our tube pretty well established. Close it up next heat. Now that we're this far, we're gonna give it a brushing. And a light fluxing. Now that we have the ends butted together, we're going to oval this out a little bit. So that way, we're going to oval it. Here's the seam. We're going to oval it this way so we weld it. We'll start here so it'll push those butt ends together. This is mild steel. Don't be afraid to let it sparkle. Okay, we're past forge welding temperature. Brush off the old flux. And on with the new flux. Back in the fire. We've got this end of the tube welded. This half of the tube, I should say. Now we're working on this half. Okay, so that was the last of our forge welding heats to get this stuck together. Now, every heat from now on is going to be a forge welding heat, but we're going to start rounding up this profile. And since I only made this out of quarter inch, uh, if I do this for the actual rifle barrel, I'm going to make it out of three eighths of an inch stock or 10 millimeter stock. Since this is just quarter inch or six mil, I'm going to leave this profile round to maximize the wall thickness for testing.
There we go. I think I'm going to call it there. Next, we'll take it to the anvil and straighten it. dang straight. Now we have about a 5 16 bore. That's about 8 millimeters. You can still see the seam. That's to be expected because the two ends were rounded. The inside looks very good. Since we made this around 10 millimeters, eight millimeter mark, and we only need to take it up to about 11 millimeters, it's about 11.1 .1 millimeters what we need to take it to, or 7 16ths of an inch. We don't have much material that needs to be removed here.